Okay, that's what I was saying to them that this is the earliest we've probably ever oh, yeah. played, but not the least amount of people. <laughs> like we've played to less, so that's okay. <laughs> was it in a club? In a bar. Uh, a bar? Which, which time? I don't know. Depends. How do you play when there's no one there? Do you play like, do you find the one person or do you play for yourself? Or do you, you just kind of just it's do like, it. Practice. Yeah, just yeah. practice. Yeah, you, you try some new weird shit. Yeah, that's what I think, yeah. right? Yeah, some yeah. New weird stuff. Okay. Oh, we have five, five seconds. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. This is ninety point three KEXP and KEXP.org worldwide. I'm John Richards, host of the Morning Show, and we are on the Morning Show, nice and early with O Rose. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Did We're you good. did you make the the drive this morning? Um, no, we stayed in Seattle last night. Okay, good. Um, but we came up from Portland. You came up from Portland. Got mm-hmm. it. Okay. Oh, Rose, I love the new record, Thank and you. congratulations on that. I'm very excited to have you play live here on KXP. Awesome. I've
Oh Rose live here on the morning show. The new album, While My Father Sleeps. Oh, Rose, you got another one? Yes. Right. Sounding awesome here on the morning show. You've got fire from while my father sleeps. And Olivia, do you mind introducing your band really quick? For sure. We have Sarah Redden on the keys, uh, Vin Christopher over here on the bass, and Liam Hindall on the drums. And you are Olivia Rose. And I am Olivia Rose. Hi. Thank you all for making the trip up here for this morning and for this evening. And for those who don't know what our Death of Music event is, it's uh, music, well, it's in the title, really. But um, it's a community gathering around grief. It's music being played to make everyone feel uh, that they are not alone. And the storytelling and the songs just bring everybody together. We, we often talk about it like a second funeral, one you're more prepared for. <sighs> yeah. Because that first one, you are not. <laughs> yeah, any, definitely not. Yeah. And this album touches on that. There's, um, there's so much in this album I want to ask you about. But can you just talk about the loss that inspired uh, you? Yeah. Um... So in 2017, in January, my mother passed away. Um, and so that was kind of the first one. And uh, a year after that, my grandmother, her mother passed away. Mm -hmm. um, so it was kind of a compounding of loss. Compound grief, yeah. Yeah, compounding. Yeah. Um, and, um, however, you know, in a band, we've been playing... You know, we've been together since 2014, so it was kind of this grief and loss wrapped up in also music, um, trying to stay focused and release music. Um, but the loss just, it, it didn't go anywhere. I, I needed to use music and art as a vessel for, I don't know, my, yeah, my grief. Yeah, and, and it's... It's so hard to talk about, yeah. let alone create around mm -hmm. that it was, did you find it too even, was it too painful to even begin or was it a kind of organic? Did you? Oh, it was really hard. I mean, 
Um, we recorded the album twice. So wow. uh, we recorded While My Father Sleeps um, in 2017, that summer, um, after she had passed. Um, and, you know, I say this a lot that um, I think that there's the really awesome thing about recording is that sometimes it will capture like a time and a space right. and an emotion that like is so like oh, it's imprinted. However, with those recordings, I, it was so hard for me to listen to. Um, just I, I could just like I was just like, no, I like wasn't in a good space. Um, so. We sat with it for a while, and then um, in 2018, my grandmother passed away. Ve uh, very close uh, timing from my mother's death, um, and at that point, I was just like, "No, like, yeah. we're recording this again." And we recorded it ourselves, um, which uh, we've recorded all of our music ourselves, um, and I think that I just felt comfortable and safe with all, with everyone, so, yeah. You can't, you can't ask for more than that. Yeah, totally. It is a community, let alone your band. Oh, absolutely. It sounds like really understanding, too, of, oh, of what yeah. you're going through. And, and absolutely. Um, you, you talked about, um, I read about you talking about the language of death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that, what is that to you? Um, well, I think that, um, ex I think I'm still learning it. Um, there, but there is something that I did uh, after losing, like, my, my mom, it was this, uh, I, I totally thought and spoke about death, death differently, um, and also it was, uh, wild because, uh, when you've experienced such a close loss, um, especially young, you know, I was 25, um, you start to just speak to people in a way and then you see how many people have actually experienced loss. And I think that that's what I mean by the language of, of death is this um, understanding, like when you're speaking with someone and it comes up that they've lost someone really close to them. Uh, I don't know, it's just like a almost, it's just different. It's like a tone change or something. Today is the 15th anniversary of my mom dying. And Sorry for your loss. thank you. And it it uh, it doesn't get easier. It gets different, mm, mm -hmm. and that's what I'm experiencing. It totally. gets different, but that language is the same. Absolutely. Like it doesn't change. If someone walked in the room and lost the one yesterday, you know, the the conversation would be of that of loss. Totally. And knowing that they don't understand how the world keeps moving when mm -hmm. your mom isn't in it anymore. That doesn't, uh, yeah. it didn't make any sense to me. Like mm -hmm. when uh, we always talk about like green lights, like, mm -hmm. or red lights, you stop at a, why are these people stopping at lights and stupid we, things like that pop yeah, in your head? Like, how yeah. are you, how are you getting through your day? Right. My mom's dead. Right. And, I mean, yeah. and the not being able to call is the, uh, yeah. is, is, it gets, gets in there as well. And for me, that was with my, when, that was when my grandmother passed away. Um, you are close to your grandma? I was very close to yeah. her. Um, very close to her. Me and my mom had a strained relationship at times, um, and that has a lot to do with mental illness. Mm -hmm. um, so that, her loss, I'm still very much processing. Um, but my grandmother's was so just absence, an absence of right. just like pure love. Um, you know. And that's the other bit of language. You don't know people's relationship with, like my dad died 20 years ago mm -hmm. and we had a strained relationship and that grieving is different than the yeah. grieving of someone close exactly. to you. <laughs> so totally. you don't get like, a, oh, okay, I have some experience in this. Here you are a year later. Totally. And probably ill-prepared for someone <laughs> that close to you because that's not fair. Yeah, it wasn't fair. You know, it wasn't. Um, and that, you know, it's a thing of like, well, you know, she was 89. Yeah. So it's like, oh, you know. You know, but did, did, I was like, what? But she's like not here. Like I can't call her, you know. And me and my brother were talking last night and I was like, you know, we're going on KXP. Like this is exciting. And it was just like, you know, I wish we could call yeah. Mama Dot. Yeah. What do you think she'd think of the record? Um, I think that um, I think she would be very proud <laughs> of, I think she's always very proud yeah. of, um, me and all of us, you know, uh, when she was alive, 
uh, we make a point when we're on tour to go be with each other's families, so we all know each other's families really well, and they um, all met her. I think she'd be proud. I think that the music might freak her out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's like a little old Southern lady uh, who was like, who is that country single singer that won American Idol? It was like a boy. I don't know. She just she had <laughs> more like her style. Her cards of him, <laughs> <laughs> and I was just in her heart, just singing over there. You know. Oh well, I appreciate you sharing that with us, and 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 tonight Good as well. Um, you'll be you'll be surrounded by again people who know what you're talking about. So for sure. Um, how about a couple more songs? Tell yeah. us about this next one too, man. This I played this one a lot. Um, Twenty five alive. Yeah. Um, um, so this is. Uh, a song, this is a song that I wrote uh, the lyrics to after her, my mother had passed. Um, kind of the beginning melody of something we had been working on for a while, but the word, I could never really kind of find the words to um, and wrote it uh, one night. Uh, and I, um, it's personal. I'm talking about my mother dying, and I'm also talking about wanting to let go of anger. I had a lot of anger surrounding her death. She had a lot of anger in her life. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a way to release it. Uh, it's been a difficult song for me to play, but it's, it is getting somewhat easier <laughs> sometimes. Um, and I remember when it was done, when I finished writing it, so I like took my finger off of the fret and my middle finger like snapped down like I don't know some tendon or something but I just like took it as a sign as like my mom being so mad at me <laughs> like wow but, um, wow so it's it's good all right well 25 alive is a song it's a brilliant song thank you and this is O Rose live here on the morning show
<clears throat> wow, Lil Rose here on KEXP. Brilliant. And that one? Thank you. Uh, that's seven. That comes from a few years ago. 2015. Um, that was the album we released before. It's crazy how that goes right along with your new song, too. <laughs> They're... Uh, they hold hands. <laughs> yeah, it's very well put. Oh, Rose, again, I cannot recommend the record enough while my father sleeps, or the, the Seven album as well. Um, and they're going to be playing tonight at Town Hall. Thank you again for playing Death and Music this evening. Um, and uh, again, um, for taking the time to come up here and uh, sharing your story too. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. I'm sure your grandma would have been proud. Oh, that was so very proud. good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to thank everybody who works on these sessions. And I also want to thank everybody who supports these sessions as you do so. By supporting KXP, we are doing this because you care. So I will see you all tonight at Death and Music and tomorrow for the Mom Show. This is 90.3 KEXP, Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.